Hey, that's all right. I know how to edit. All right, what's up, guys? Here we go. It is opening day of 2018 Kayabab early rifle hunt, and um, we are setting up. I, I we got in late last night after getting everything set up, so I didn't video any of that. Didn't video this morning because um, I forgot my um, camera. But uh, now we are getting ready for the afternoon hunt. We're loading up and we're gonna go out and see if we can't turn something up. So we seen one stud this morning um, and then a couple of nice bucks. So we saw a couple of 170 class and a definite 190 plus buck this morning. So hopefully we can make it to where uh, one will stick around just long enough to pull the trigger. But we'll see you guys in a bit. Thanks. To the top, I'ma do it. I'm headed to the top, I'ma prove it. And baby girl, I like what you're doing. Your body's out of sight when you're moving. You look just like my type, so let's do it. You know I'll treat you right, let me prove it. And I could go all night. I'm sick of being nothing, all right. I'm gonna be something, all fight. With every breath, trust me, I'ma be the one at the top, you can't touch me. Good morning, guys. All right, here we go, day two. And uh, we've had a lot of action this morning. I've been, there's been so much going on and so much excitement. I haven't recorded any time, anything. I, I haven't had time. I literally walked over to where I was gonna sit on the glass and it wasn't even, wasn't even very bright yet. And uh, I looked down below me and we had four deer. And I couldn't tell what they were because it was dark, still dark and put it in the glass and four of them were bucks. One nice buck and one stud buck. So we uh, we got set up on them. We shot a couple times and we we're close. But anyways, we're gonna be back in there looking for that buck again. And right now we're looking at some guys cleaning some deer. And we've had shots going over our heads. We got guys over here looking for a deer that they shot at. We got a guy back over here sitting on the hill. And we got Travis calling. Uh, Kent and Tommy up looking for Tommy's buck that he shot last night. He, I guess he shot a giant. They're trying to find it. So, yeah, it's a pretty, pretty good morning so far for being day two. But I'm going to get better at recording. Relax. Take a deep breath. It's all right. So, we'll see you guys in a little bit. <laughs> you just sitting here sunbathing. We're here visiting Trav's camp. It's awesome. <laughs> Holy fuck. <laughs> 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 That's funny. Good God, we can with everybody in oh, we oh yeah. Now we gotta get more feet. <laughs> you didn't jump nearly as bad as Dennis did. <laughs> Don't start shit, you can't finish. <laughs> I'm not afraid of snakes. You haven't seen it yet. Just throw it in! <laughs> nope. <laughs> so back to camp, Landon's showing up. He's honking the horn. They got one. Why don't come honking if we don't kill nothing? Nice four. Yeah. Well, here's the good story. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so, we glossed these two bucks. Congrats! Up, freaking six or seven hundred yeah, yards out. I shot the wrong one too. Yeah. What? Huh? <laughs> oh, dude, we got him on. Hey, hey, hey! Oh, yeah. Shake it nice. Nice one. Did it, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice heavy four yeah. point. Yeah. 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 Ye
and he freaking sticks it on. Boom! I'm like, you missed. Well, that buck was in the back. They jump, he jumps and freaking runs in front. The other buck's just like, what the hell? Okay, I guess I'll follow you. He jacks another one in. He's like, buck in the back. Boom! I'm like, oh, wrong deer. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he didn't. It, it, he shot that thing so damn quick. I mean, it was like, boom! Yeah. Well, yeah. you said you picked up the front buck. You're like, nope, I'm supposed to shoot the back buck. Yeah, he said it was the it was the back one. I picked the front one up, and I said, well, the back one came back and shot. I didn't say anything <laughs> after he shot the first one. I missed. I missed, and I said, son of a bitch, I pulled it. And oh, yeah. jacks another one in and shoots the other buck. <laughs> <laughs> right on. Got him. Good job, it's, at least Good it's job, not man. a little forky. That's what I said. I says, dude, I was a hundred. Dude, this was a hundred yards over the top of the ridge from where we killed Lyman's buck. Oh, really? Yep. Right on. Yep. Hi. Good morning, guys. It's uh, morning of day three, and uh, we're set up here on our little point. Uh, we were looking for a buck that we shot at yesterday, and he got away from us. And uh, so we set up this morning before sun up right here, and we were just sitting here glass in the country looking for a deer and we got guys over here to our left that come pulling up and guys across on the finger over there and then and guys clear across the, the bottom here on another finger and we we're just sitting here glass and we had about I don't know seven or eight deer down across from us and all of a sudden some guys come running up over the finger right here on us and come down here they had spooked the buck that we were looking for but they come running up below us about 50, 75 yards right in there. And I guess the buck was running up the draw. And as they were making all that noise, we had another buck. And it could be the same buck. We're not 100% sure. It's a big frame deer. It's a big, pretty deer. Uh, come out. How far was he, Kevin? Four, 4.45. 4.45. He come out on the other hillside over there. And uh, Kevin let him have it. Not 100% where the shot was. Um, so we said we're going to sit here for about 30 45 minutes he went over the finger into the next draw and we've just been sitting here glassing everything we could see looking for him to come out and he hasn't come out so that we've seen but that's why we're going to give him a little bit of time make sure he's good and dead so buck down baby big buck down so you excited man good guy very very good guy <laughs> i don't know about that part in if we're we're in, all uh, right. Salt Lake or uh, St. George. Look up Josh. He's a hell of a guy. <laughs> Thank you. Thank I you. appreciate that. We're gonna, like I said, we're gonna give him a little bit of time. I'm gonna run up to the truck. Uh, it's up the hill, a couple hundred yards, and uh, grab a couple things before we take off. And we'll see you guys in a bit. No, he's a young bird. And what's that 13? That just shows the district area he's in. No, they that's his number. Oh, they, can. they can't breed on their own, like. They're supposed to be extinct. Like they do, they don't breed on their own. Really? Like they have to hatch all their eggs and everything. So everyone's tagged. And what happens in the winter time? They fucking head out somewhere, or they just no, they they stay here. They, they don't go yeah, to the Grand Canyon. Yeah, they probably go back over the Vermilion more. This is actually the first one I've ever seen right here. Serious? Yeah, we glassed him up last night. last night. He was yeah. sitting in that same well, tree a, last night. I thought I was messing with that's him. That's a hell of a video right there. Well, oh, awesome. Nice butt. I know. There it is, guys. Stud early early season kayak buck. Alright, what's up guys? Josh Corbin here, ASG guides and zero guide fees. And uh, we got Kevin over here who uh, just hammered this stud buck here on the kayak early rifle hunt. And Kevin is a zero guide fee member, and I'm gonna let Kevin kind of explain to you guys his opinion about it and uh, how long he's been a member and what he's been doing so yeah we uh we signed up at zero guide fees and uh two years ago at the sportsman's show in sacramento and uh didn't anticipate i thought it would take a little while to get drawn for it but uh in the second year this is my second year i got picked and uh it couldn't be better we came here and great guides great guys good accommodations good food and uh Really, really, really had a good trip. It's I, I recommend anybody that goes to somewhere or hears about the zero guide fees to sign up because it's it's the way to go this day and age. How much did you pay total for your deer? Package? I paid probably three, about seven hundred dollars. Seven hundred dollars total in the past two years. 
and you just got a five day fully outfitted uh, hunt, which normally is about 5,500 bucks. And if you want to pay a little extra and stay longer, you, you can. know, it's very, yeah. very minimal and it's, it's, it's well worth it. So, I mean, $700 fully outfitted five day hunt. And the longer you remember, the more days you get. So, uh, yeah, come hunt with us. Really seen some nice bucks. Yep. And we we just, we got New Mexico, Arizona, Utah, and uh, we're going to be having Nevada. Nevada and Colorado's in the works as well. So. Very highly recommended. If zero you're... guide fees, guys. Great. Later. guys we got them all cut up and in the uh, in the frame pack got the head and cape right there we're gonna load on another pack and I'm holding that bad boy and we're going up <laughs> too late <laughs> got it ready to laugh three two, two one, one. <laughs> that'll do or <laughs> send them around Set them around. Just all of these. <laughs> I just wanted to get one on my camera. Oh. Okay. I want to get one on my camera. Oh, 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 I don't think I ever will. I never will. Okay, but nothing sucks. Is we good? Yep. Oh. Colin locked his keys in the truck. Landon yeah. just fished him out. <sighs> Pry that door right open, right boys. Here. Oh, we got it, dude. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Mother, hey, push the hey, damn Josh. button. Josh, oh. can you get this? Hey, light over here, light over here, please. <laughs> hey, it matches my truck oh, now. God, you love me. Oh, <laughs> we bend it up real nice. Yeah, there I'm you gonna go, Pat. Merry put Christmas, that on there. buddy. I'm going to put oh, that on there, too, Lord. man. That's how we do. It's going to look just great on that truck. <laughs> yeah, I know. Oh, oh, the truck's on. It looks like your door got rolled over. Look at that! Good thing they make the same uh, color nail polish as this. <laughs> oh shit! There's a cooler there. Out of there, dude. I can't believe you got that. I can't believe I dropped it on the seat. Well, oh, like, that was quality. <laughs> that was, yeah, that was Colin, quality. Keys don't get locked yeah, in the truck, bro. Yeah. <laughs> hey, Colin. Hey. His left antler's a guaranteed three. His left antler is a guaranteed three. That's what I thought on the left or right. I couldn't. Oh, there he goes. He's moving. So just walking, pushing this uh, Aspen stuff and come up bottom and found that guy laying there dead. Pretty much ate completely. That sucks. Wonder if somebody uh, had a bad shot. Or uh, just the predators got him. Who knows? Alright, what's up guys? It's uh, day five right now and uh, pretty much everybody's gone home and filled their tags. We got one client left in camp and we're all kind of spread out right now just glass and country trying to pull up a buck, a good buck. So We're posted up in our spot for the evening <clears throat> and uh, we're just going to sit here and glass away.
So somebody got bored at camp today. He's gonna walk. Dropped him. Fumbled. Good shot. The other one's going up. Get another one ready. Get another. I think he's close. You got the top one? Yeah, you got the right buck. Good shot, the other Mike. Buck moved up into the left. Freaking whacked him, dude. Hold on. He's Good gonna job, shoot that. Mike. Hold on. Don't go. Sorry, Josh is video. You got him? Oh, yeah, you got yeah, him. He no, I'm talking. The other buck. What? Do you see the other buck? The three He's going to shoot the other buck. Oh, shit, I didn't know we had somebody else. Yeah, I think it's a dead tree. It's just kind of He's walking to the right right now, just slowly. Where's he up from them pines? He's almost to those pines. He's just to the left of them, about 20 yards. And, like, okay. I don't have a yard. I can get you one. I bet you're about 400 yards. Right? 375. 375. Hit him. Hit him. He's Reload running down. down. Reload. Where'd he go? He's, He's running he's straight running down. He just stopped. He's just to the left of, those trees. Left of the pine pines. Trees. He's going to fall over. There, there he goes. <laughs> Boom, baby. Good shot, buddy. <laughs> Fucking oh, yeah. killers, man! Hey, Dan, get your ass caster. Oh, oh, you oh, are oh, dusty. Got <gasps> I got them both on video, <laughs> too. Good job, Dan. Good job. I like that. Good Me too, job, man. You too, bud. That was awesome. Yeah, man. That was great. <laughs> yeah. All right, guys. Good morning. Day six. Day six, morning of day six, and uh, things got a little happened a little quick. I didn't do, I haven't even done an intro yet for the day, but uh, we just doubled up on two bucks, three seventy-five and uh, three fifty on the range, and whacked them both, dropped them. Mike over there, everybody's packed up. We're gonna head over and uh, check it out. Yeah, Halloween bucks. We're going trick or treating tonight. A guide of guides, man. <laughs> Let's go in here and do that. Well, that doesn't happen. It should. Kind of split up. Three of us are walking down from the trucks right now. We pulled the trucks around, and three of us are already there. <laughs> we got to drag them together and get side by side ZGF picks. No shit? Yeah, shit. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> oh, he's a pretty buck dog. Hell yeah, dude. Lift that bad boy up real quick. Let me see. Good job, Dusty. Dude, good buck. Saw a buck. Nice work, Mike. Nice shot. Let's go look at yours. Yeah, let's go find it, dude. Yeah, dude, we gotta drag them together. It shouldn't be too hard. Oh, shit. Yeah, he's just right here, down.
Oh hell yeah. It's that thing's cool. heavy. It's kind of cool looking. Yeah, it's kind of cool. Got that nice dark side horn to him. That's a neat. That deer's way cool. I think that's a good game and shit. Oh. Weight to him too. Hell yeah. How far away are we? Oh, right there? Yeah. Yeah, we can definitely get double pictures. Can't you just like do some Photoshop things? Out. Rock and roll. Yeah, yeah. Hey guys, this is Michael Hull from Abilene, Texas. Zero Guide member. This is my second year and got drawn for a Kaibab mule deer hunt. Got this beautiful animal that God's put on this earth. I'm only $700 in the membership and got a five day hunt fully paid for with guide, camp, cooks and everything. So such a, such a happy time and really proud to be a Zero Guide member. Look to add more states in the future. And uh, if you're really wondering if this is a good deal or not, this is proof. You get a good animal and a good time and great experiences with wonderful people for not very much money. Thanks. Well, that's a wrap for the uh, 12A West early rifle hunt here on the Kaibab. Four people in our camp, all four killed, and then we were able to get another GGF member in an, another one of our camps to uh, kill this morning, so it was a good day. Two bucks down, so. Got camp all packed up and in the back, and we're going home to see the family. Today is Halloween, so go get to spend time with Brit on Halloween which is awesome I'm so glad I got done before uh, that so we're gonna go home get a few things uh, cleaned up fixed up and then we're gonna be off again to 13a rifle hunt and then 13b and then 12b West Lake so a lot of hunting see you guys in a bit thanks for following along and watching bye